right now we are just at my 12 and the best thing to know is to see locations how it is okay anyway my name is miss Anne Wakama and I'm that your real estate expert that can always help you get the kind of property you need so you all know I love to bring good deals to you and as you can see this is the road that links to my 12 we are, we'll be driving straight down to Iko Road. How many people want to see our Iko Road do in, or oh, I mean, on the mainland? So basically, what I'm actually going for today is to view a particular property for a client at Iko Road. And it's always good you get to see the view, you get to see what these locations really look like. Okay, so this is the my 12 bridge you can see it so we'll be driving straight to Ikorodu as like you all know when I do videos I do less editing and make sure that you see a lot of things you need to see around here oh see this Okada one way things Lagos <laughs> see this young man oh. <laughs> oh my goodness you can see people hustling that guy selling yams hustling real good that's how lagos is you can see this one is hustling his tomatoes and pepper okay so as we drive down we'll get to discuss a lot more and though i have a property at ikorodu and um, i have a client who really want to buy a property around this houses and i needed to come and check up the property for him to see if the property is okay for him to buy or not so these are some of the things on the services we render to clients and it is good you have someone who is reliable I mean a, a professional realtor to help you do some of these things you know you can't do by yourself mm -hmm. so if you have not been in Lagos for long welcome to Las Giri Korodu Aziz so you can see that on our way coming back there is so much traffic on the way so maybe we'll start doing one more <laughs> <laughs> okay so like you all know I'm an island based realtor and it's always good to um, get a beautiful tour around to see some other beautiful locations because with that you are able to you know see what other locations really look like okay and you know where exactly you really want to invest in as regards to your real estate investment so let's talk about i mean something that you don't know about real estate that a lot of people always miss it and i'm going to just share this with you because i want you to have this understanding on how to choose a property you wish to buy so many people want to buy a property they don't know how they don't know what to do i've actually made several videos to guide you but in this particular clip We'll just be talking on some things you really need to take into consideration okay which is very very real it happens now if you want a property the first thing you should consider is the best location to invest in when you can actually get that location then so some of you really want to buy a property and you tend to trust your decision on a third party now there are so many things that can constrain you from buying a good property i've had a client who told me and you know what years back i wanted to buy a property in lekki for two million naira and i asked a friend to go check up the property and when the friend got there my friend was telling me oh that place is just water water you can't buy it but the person in charge actually made me understand that buying this property now would appreciate more in few years to come but guess what after 10 years the lucky we're talking about was now worth about 200 million per plot now for you not to miss a good property don't just rely on third party influence or third party decision rely on the three i mean your own desire of wanting the property rely on the realtors um advice on the particular property then rely on the third party don't just rely on the third party because
because sometimes relying on the third party means your own idea able to buy it in the first place means nothing i mean you've rated it at zero then for the realtor who is giving you a good property to buy in a good location you also rated that zero now for the third party who is not a realtor who is not a real estate person you all you've also rated that person right so you're condemning two and picking the last one so one of the things you need to know is that sometimes people don't see light in certain locations and they don't even want their friends or family to get involved in those locations so if you are connected to this channel and you've not learned the right way to actually buy a property even if you're not in Nigeria then you've got to be asking me the right questions because most of my clients are in diaspora okay and if you check some of my posts on YouTube or on Instagram you will see their comments and how they've actually worked with me for a long time if you check also on the instagram via i light i think i created a column on testimonial so i decided to upload some of their um, comments on that particular as so you can go there to watch it or probably read through to see a lot more about this as so we are still driving along ecology road but you've got to realize certain things okay Ikonju road is one of the longest roads in lagos all right it's cut across up to jibo oasis so you have to realize this and um, know that it's one of the longest <laughs> so as you can see i'm giving you the locations how they really really are just for you to know what it looks like all right and like i was saying Buying a property in Lagos is a very, very great deal. You may stay abroad, you may stay out of Lagos, probably in another another state entirely, and you have a property in Lagos. It doesn't stop the property from appreciating. It doesn't stop you from making money off that real estate investment, okay? So it all depends on you. I've done a video on how to invest into real estate. Different as is, you can actually look through to invest into real estate so it's up to you to say you know what i think i want to try this i think i want to try that but if you don't know um i still have to drop my whatsapp link at the comment section box so that you get to ask me the right questions so that i can guide you support you to ensure you buy the right property and also ensure that every information you need as regards to that property is supplied to you at ease so as i speak with you this ikorodu toys it's a beautiful one for me really because actually it's been a while i came through this as this and um, i intend looking through what's up with the development what's up what's happening you know <laughs> so it's good we we, we 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 look across lagos and see what these locations are really like you know the weather has really changed like it's going to rain but i'm always happy to say you know what and uh, whether it's raining or it's sunny i'm out here to give you everything that you need as regards to your real estate investment okay so and as we drive down you may see some things that may um, interest you you are also free to ask a little more questions because when you ask questions you could be able to uh, get response from moi <laughs> so as you can see there's so much road link here and then um, we're still driving down oh my god it's fresh fish wow 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 wow, wow. <laughs> just passed it
landed properties okay so i want to really treat this question in this video because these two are strong investments i mean real estate investment that you can never lose out if you are buying from a good source okay we have so many reliable companies and we have so many fake companies so as regards to that for you to make your decision you need a professional realtor's torch to get the right ones to invest in not just the right ones but the one that is also with good budgets sometimes you may end up saying oh this one has um, is the right one because you know the name but it's not a good budget okay so always try to get that because it could save you a lot more like a client of mine was asking me there was a property going for 53 million and she asked me and please what do you think can you give me your real estate advice as regards to this property do you think i should buy this 53 million era property or what do you think I should do? Not like I want to stay there. I just want to buy it, then rent it out and be getting rental income. And my answer is this. If you want to buy this three bedroom semi-detached for 53 million, why not go a bit down in the same as this? I mean, and buy another, I mean, buy a property of 27 million which is three bedroom terrace same three bedroom terrace though it doesn't have a big queue but you will buy two units the two unit 27 27 that's how much the two units will be i think that should be 54 million so you just add one million error and you have two units which means let's assume in the other one you'll be collecting a rental income of 3.5 and this one you're taking a rental income of 2 million or 2.5 which means for the two units you'll be having 5 million naira per year so I don't know if you can get the calculation right but I'm a very very calculative person I try, I try to make a lot of research feasibility studies as regards to real estate before I even try to do some certain videos because the good thing about real estate is is that you have to get the right investment anyway we are just at a Greek which is one of the most popular as is around this Ikorodu area and you can see it's very busy and I can't hold phone for too long so that um, you know <laughs> I don't want to talk <laughs> so um, we may take a pause then we'll continue so you can see it's quite a busy place and we are fast approaching Ikorodu. Today is a Sunday so it's such a free day if you're not going to be seeing I mean you're not seeing anything around here then you should understand that no traffic not too much traffic because it's a, a Sunday Sundays most times in Lagos are resting days for a lot of individuals so just get used to it so like I was saying before we round off this particular mm. discussion two things is it okay so between the two which of it is okay to invest in I mean you want to invest in an off-plan apartment or you want to invest on landed property now the two is all good okay the only difference is that for the off plan you pay gradually until it is ready okay when it's ready you can now rent it out and make your money off the off plan and at the same time making money off the off plan is a gradual thing it's not something that is immediate all right it's not something that is immediate that it takes process okay so this is part of our Greek also as you can see it's such a very big place okay if you drive down this road there are a lot of um, houses around there too and we are fast approaching Ikorodu <laughs> so for those who don't know Ikorodu yeah 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 this is it so like I was saying if you want the off plan definitely your uh, 
the value for the property is, in fact is almost immediate because as soon as the offline is ready and people are leaving you start collecting your rent off it immediately now there are two ways you can make money off of plan apartments first you rent it out right second you choose to resell now choose to resell is one of the hottest things that can happen to that property which has happened to one of our property vantage courts a client bought it for 16 million and resold for 24 million mm. all right so these are the things that happen for people who do not key into off plan as the time they see it, they buy it at a higher rate later so if you have any off plan that is on your mind currently make sure you are chatting me up as fast as possible let's discuss about it so that you can buy as fast as possible now for vantage court also we have few units left now for land this is Ikorodu. Mm -hmm. so from here down you can see that we have banks we have a lot of beautiful locations around these houses you see it's a very beautiful place though anyway yes back Ikorodu wasn't like this the road also wasn't like this it was mud because i have i have a house here yeah, built home by myself so it was just all mud and as you can see the development has spread very very well so right right now as you stand here you there is no land facing the major express so when we give you land in Ibechu, facing the major express don't ask questions two times make sure you are buying six plots if you don't have money for six plots buy two because by the time you will need one you will sell the other okay so this is also a strong place i can't hold phone for too long and if you want to do land investment like i said land investment is just for a short period of time you can't do land investment for a long period of time okay a short period of time is a long term thing so you need to get used to this you need to ask me more questions land investment could take about 10 years before it appreciates very very well but guess what the moment you key in you start you start start looking at it like wow yeah my property is now increasing anyway thank you so much for watching this clip if you have not subscribed please do a thumbs up by liking this video this is Ikorodu and if you have not please do that as fast as possible call me and do not forget you need to um, ask me a lot of more questions as regards to your real estate investment in Lagos thank you so much remember I love you now and always bye bye